Hello, I'm James Crowhurst from ICT Techie and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Air Server on the PC. First, you need to go to airserver.com on the internet, like I have done up here, and that will load this website. Then on the right hand side over here, you need to go and click download. When you click download, you are presented with four options. The first one is to download a free trial. The second, you can buy an educational license. The third one is to buy a consumer license. And the last one is to buy a business license. Obviously, depending on your circumstances, depends on which one you would use. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to download the software using the free trial section because I've already got a code. So I'm going to press download for free just here. Now you can either connect with your Facebook account or enter your details to register for the trial. I don't actually need to do that because I'm already registered so I'm just going to click here. Now we get the choice of whether to download for the Mac or for the PC. I'm going to download for the PC and I can choose whether I want to download 64-bit or download the 32-bit version. If you're unsure, just go with the 32-bit version because that will work on both 64-bit and 32-bit machines. So that's what I'm going to press on now. Now you can see it's dropped down to the bottom down here and it's downloading. It's not a large download, so it shouldn't take too long, but this does depend on your internet connection. It's downloaded now for me, so I'm going to press on it down here at the bottom. Um, if you don't have it down there at the bottom, or because you're using a different internet browser, you might you should find it in your downloads folder. So when you run it, you get presented with a screen, which is the Air Server Setup Wizard. Very simply, you press next, and then it presents you with the options that you need to install to get Air Server working properly. Now, for the purpose of this video, I've not inst I've not installed any of the prerequisites so that you can see what happens if you don't install them. So the only major prerequisite for installing Air Server is the Bonjour service by Apple. And this can be installed, as it says here, either by using iTunes or just by downloading the Bonjour print services for Windows. There are some other things you can do as well, uh, which is supposed to help with video playback. So you can also use iTunes, QuickTime, some lab filters, and the Halley Media Splitter and the FFD show tryout. They will offer different options for use for video playback, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do the Bonjour print services. So I'm going to use that link there to download it. To highlight it. And copy and paste using Control C. Okay. And new tab. Drop it in there with Control V on the keyboard. Press the Enter key. And that should now take us through. As you can see, the download link here didn't take us to the Bonjour for Windows because Apple have changed their website. They often do this, so if you need to, on the Apple website, you can search for it at the top right, click in that box, and type in Bonjour, and here you can see I've got print services, so I'm going to press on that now. And there's lots of different options for downloading, but the one that I need is the top one. Bonjour print services for Windows, and now I can download it, so I'm going to press download. And now you can see it's downloading down here. Again, only a small file. 
option to only take a few seconds to download. Um, for reference, this link will also be in the comments at the bottom of my YouTube video. So now that Bonjour has downloaded, I can press on that to install that. So, um, as you can see, this is the Bonjour Print Services Installer, so I'm just going to press Next. Accept the agreement, next, tells you what it is, basically Bonjour Print Services uh, for Windows lets you discover and configure Bonjour enabled printers from your Windows computer, which is just basically Apple's own version of being able to find printers easily and devices easily on the Apple network. Press next. Uh, I'm going to untick the Create Bonjour Print Wizard Desktop shortcut because I'm only using it for Air Server, so I don't need a shortcut on my desktop. And I'm going to leave it to automatically update so that I don't have to do anything with it ever again. So I'm just going to press Install now. You see it's giving me a user account control, so I'm just going to press Yes to that. And it very quickly whizzes through installing everything. As you can see here, now I've been presented with another user account control, so I'm just going to press yes again. It should go through finishing off the install. And when it's finished, you get presented with the finished quit install screen, the congratulations screen. So I'm just going to hit finish. And it's gone now. Back down here on my taskbar, I've got my air server setup still running, so I'm going to press on that. And I don't need to rerun this, all I need to do now is just press check again. That's carrying out check, and you can see now it says ready to install. So I'm going to click next to continue installing Air Server. I'm not going to worry about any of the extra options uh, for helping with video playback at this stage. Press next. Agree. I'm ticking the box and press next. At this stage, if you haven't um, got a code and you're just trialing it, you can select the top one, so you're trialing. You don't have to activate Air Server now, but you can't use it until you have activated it, and you have to activate it later. If you need to register for a trial code, you can do so by clicking this button here. Or if you've already got a code like myself, you can just drop it into this box here. So I'm going to do that now. Copying and pasting it from my notepad. It will be blurry on your screen for obvious reasons. But now I'll press next. Choose where I want it to install to. I'm just going to choose the default directory. It makes life a bit easier. If you want Air Server to start when you log on to Windows, if you're going to be using Air Server a lot and you don't want to have to faff around with deciding whether Air Server is loaded on your machine or not, I'd suggest that you select either of these two, so you can either have it just for yourself or for anyone. Although I'm the only user on this machine, I'm going to select anyone in case I change that in the future. So now anybody who logs onto my machine will be able to use Air Server because it will be automatically running in the background. So I'm going to press next, click install, again I get presented with the user account control, so I'm going to press yes, and you see it very quickly, copies across the files, and activates by asking me again to uh, the user account control, so I'm going to press yes, and that's activating our server for me, finishing off the install, and there we go. I'm going to leave launch air server when setup exits ticked because that will make sure it's running straight away. And I can press finish now. And you can see now at the bottom right hand side it's popped up saying air server is running on my machine with my machine name. And I've got the nice little air server logo down here in my taskbar as well. So that tells me it's running. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And be sure to tune into the next part of my air server series.
showing you how to use the settings.